Hello friends, today I am going to tell about tonsillitis, what causes tonsillitis, what are the symptoms of tonsillitis and how homeopathy medicines helps in tonsillitis problem. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Tonsils are two glands that presents at the base of the tongue in both sides. Tonsils prevents the impression to go downwards to the lower respiratory and lungs. So you can say tonsils are two guards that present in the throat which protect the impression, which prevent the impression to go downwards. When the tonsils get inflamed, it is called tonsillitis. So inflammation tonsils is called tonsillitis. There are three types of tonsillitis. One is acute tonsillitis, second is recurrent tonsillitis and third is chronic tonsillitis. In acute tonsillitis, what happens? The tonsils get inflamed, it gives pain and after the treatment, it gets cured. In recurrent tonsillitis, what happens? The tonsil infection frequently appear. Very every month or every weeks, the tonsils get inflamed and so it is called recurrent tonsillitis. The chronic tonsillitis means if the swelling up conditions of the tonsils, if it persists months together or years together, you can call it chronic tonsillitis. So now we will discuss what are the common symptoms of tonsillitis. Common symptoms are uh, difficulties in swallowing either solid or liquid food. When you are swallowing the foods, you will feel pain in the throat. There is a sore throat, throat pain. The, tons, the tonsils uh, looks red and swelled up. There is also fever. There is headache. There is ear pain. And sometimes there is foul breath or bad breath, bad smell comes out from your mouth. Sometimes there is stiffness in the neck portions. Sometimes there is also pain in the stomach. So what causes the tonsillitis? The cause of the tonsillitis could be the viral cause or could be the bacterial cause. The common virus that causes the tonsillitis is EB virus and the common bacteria that causes the tonsillitis is Streptococcus bacteria. So these are the uh, very, uh, these are the very brief description about tonsillitis. Now I am going to tell some homeopathy medicines that helps in tonsillitis problem. The first medicine is Econite. Generally Econite is given in the beginning stage of tonsillitis. Tonsils are swelled up and there is difficulties in swallowing. There is high fever and the patient feels restlessness during the fever condition. The next medicine is Belladonna. If the tonsil looks red and swelled up, there is high fever with face looks red and there is severe headache and the headache is throbbing in nature as well as the tonsils generally it is occurred after the cold air exposure or taking cold drink or taking chilled foods or taking ice cream then Belladonna is the good medicine for those patients. The next medicine is Phytolaca. In Phytolaca the pain is generally worse by swelling, warm drink but feels good while taking cold water. Pain spreads from throat to the ear while swallowing anything. There is there are white spots are found over the tonsil area. If these symptoms are present, then you can give phytolica. The next medicine is mercurius. The patient feels better by drinking normal cold water, but uh, there is much saliva secretion in the mouth, there is foul smell in the mouth, there is bad smell in the mouth. So generally the right side of the tonsil is more affected. If these symptoms are present, you can think to give mercurius to the patient. The next medicine is lachesis. The tonsillitis begins in the left side of the tonsils and it spread to the right side. The pain is worse on taking any warm drink and better by taking normal cold water. The pain is more when swallowing liquid than the solid things. The pain is more during the night time. The tonsils are dark and purple appearance. The next medicine is hypersulf. The pain is better by drinking the warm water but worse by taking cold water. There is a sensation like fish bone in the throat while swallowing anything. The next medicine is lycopodium. The tonsillitis start or begins in right side of the tonsils and spread to the left side. The pain is better by drinking the warm water but worse by taking the cold water. The next medicine is lacanina. Lacanina generally is given when the tonsillitis spread the side 
very frequently. The pain is worse on empty swelling, but the patient feels constant desire to swallow. Pain extends from throat to the ear while swallowing anything. The other medicines are calcarecarb. Calcarecarb is a constitutional medicine. Generally, if the calcarecarb symptoms present in the, uh, in the patients, then we can uh, give the calcarecarb. Generally, the symptoms are the patient is obese in nature, the patient is fatty in nature, and he sweats a lot on slightest physical workout. And uh, if he is having the sonic nature, then calcarecarb is the most suitable medicine. Calcarecarb can be given as an intracurrent remedy like weekly or monthly ones. The next is tuberculum. Tuberculum is also a constitutional remedy. It can be given as per the symptomatic basis. If the tonsils in patients occurs every time on cold exposure and there is a family history of tuberculosis or asthma, then tuberculum can be given. But it is also given as an intracurrent remedy like weekly or monthly ones. So friends, if you feel it is informative, then please subscribe my video and if you have any queries, please call us at the number showing in the screen. Thank you so much.